Welcome to another episode of Making Dough Show, where we love talking about making dough in the restaurant business. Today, we're talking about staffing issues. Who loves that topic? And not only that, we want to talk about it during the holidays. As I'm recording this, it's around October, and uh, we're already thinking about all the things Q4, starting with Halloween, then Thanksgiving, and what have you, Black Friday, all of that, as well as the Christmas and the New Year's. And these are the things that we're going through, and that's what I get to share here with you, uh, being in the restaurant business, in the trenches, alongside of you. And today, I want to share with you seven things to consider. Of the tips I'm going to give you, these are the stuff that we're working on um, for ourselves, for our operations. We, at this time, have about 95 to 100 team members. We have six restaurants, so we need to be thinking about all of that. We're adding two new restaurants in the next 90 days or so, Lord willing, this is what we're working on. We just added a food trailer. So we got that starting last week. It was we starting, we got, we're going to be part of San Antonio Beer Fest. Uh, that's going to be our second event. First event is selling food out of the trailer. So that needs staffing, all the things. Now I wanted to share with you seven different tips here about managing and dealing with staffing challenges during the holidays. I'm hoping you can take a couple of tips from here. Some things you already know, some things you may have not considered. Consider those things, come up with a game plan, and let's crush the holiday sales for your restaurant. So first off, anticipating your needs. Each restaurant is different depending on what kind of a food you serve when it comes to the holidays. So if you have a Chinese restaurant, maybe you are not going to see much sales. I really don't know, to be honest. So your sales is going to be different going through certain holidays where people have a certain mindset. For instance, we are in the pizza business. So what happens with us is that the day before a holiday, and I'll have another episode where I'll talk about thinking about the psychology of your customer during the holiday so you can really prepare. But one of those things is like for us, a day before uh, a holiday, for example, Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, we are so busy because people will cook. They're like, dude, I'm already cooking so much for say Thanksgiving. I really don't want to cook more. Let's order pizza. So the day before a holiday, we tend to be very busy for which we're very grateful for, of course, but really anticipating needs. If you have data from previous years, this is the time for you to do this and look at day before the day of say uh, Black Friday. So I know Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we close for Thanksgiving, of course, but the day before Thanksgiving, we assess our sales. Uh, Black Friday, some of our stores get very busy. Some do not get busy depending on where they're located. We look at the flow of sales. You know, lunch, we're not that busy. You may be a breakfast place and you have data to look into. You know what? The day after Thanksgiving, families are in town, people go out. If you're on IHOP or what have you, you may be super busy. So really thinking about anticipating needs, looking at data from your past years is going to be incredibly key. Second tip, and that's why we're having this conversation, you and me, is because you got to plan early. So now we're already thinking about days that we're going to be off or the hours that are reduced for Christmas Eve. Obviously, we're closed on Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, we close early. We, this is the time to make the decision. Are we closing at six? Are we closing at seven? All the things that we need to consider, but you got to plan early, prepare for staffing. Some restaurants really need to start hiring people depending on your location, depending on if the, you know, holiday season is very busy for you a month or two in advance, start staffing your store, getting ready for the holidays because they need to get trained. You need all the things. So that's going to be its own thing. Cross training is going to be key in the season you may go through a time that you're not going to have that many staff members because people want to be with their family during the holidays. It's going to be imperative for us to start cross training today, this week, right now, looking ahead a few weeks in advance, because you've got to know your server. If they need to work in the kitchen, make a salad, they need to be equipped to do it. I'm not going to say that they're going to do it, but if I need a server to go back there and make a salad, this is the time to get training. So when the time comes, they're equipped to be able to serve in multiple capacities so you can do more with less people, which is always our objective in life. The next thing I have here for you is flexibility and incentives. You need to understand, yes, if you're the owner, you're the manager, we have a different level of commitment than our regular team members to this operations. 
if you're in the restaurant business, you know that this is a commitment. You and I said yes to something, and this is the cards we've been dealt with. If you were a manager, you knew what you're getting yourself into because you worked yourself to become a restaurant manager. So you shouldn't be really shocked. When people are off, that's when you and I have the privilege of working and serving. So when people have their holidays, that's when you and I work. And that's fine. This is what we signed up for. And here we are. But you got to understand, you got to come across empathetic to your team members. So already plan. Some team members are going to say, oh, my family's in town. My grandparents are in town, what have you. And we want our team members to have a life. We want them to see their family. So consider that we got to be a little flexible. And that goes back to cross training. That goes back into maybe really looking at your staffing. You need to hire more people. What do we need to do to make it smoother for everybody involved? So that's that with flexibility. The other one is, yes, we got to over communicate. In fact, I don't know if you know, one of our core values is, you know, a mantras in the company is over communication. That is twice is the first one or the last one in our mantras and our values. But this particularly going into the holiday season, you have to have a communication plan. Think about how are you going to keep the team engaged and involved of what's coming ahead. You're going to have a lot more catering going on in December and you need the team to be aware we got this event. We got, you know, a lot of companies will host parties at restaurants for their team, office parties. We got to be equipped for that. Keep your team informed. Hey, on Thursday, we got this big thing coming up. Whether they work Thursday or they don't, at least they know why you're so stressed because you got this catering coming up on Thursday. So they can be more understanding. If you don't communicate, you really cannot expect them to understand what you're going through. So communicate way more. Sixth tip tip here is to lean into technology. Um, if you're not using a software for scheduling, for messaging, for off requests, for updating availability, you're making it really stressful for yourself. This gig being in the restaurant business is very stressful as is. I recommend using a software for your scheduling and your communication. That's what we do and it really helps. So if somebody's like, you know what, my for the next few weeks, I'm not able to work Thursdays. And, you know, I'm like, okay, give me another day you can work. And they're like, okay, Tuesday I can work now. And we can get them to go update their availability in our scheduling platform. So we can be way more organized. We can send mass communication to the team via our scheduling platform. Technology, technology. It is here to make our life easier. So use it. Building a buffer. This is my last tip. It is going to happen. We're going into the winter season. And I don't, I don't know if you've noticed it. People get sick. You and I can't afford to get sick. You're the owner. You're the manager. We, we can't afford to get sick. So just tell yourself you can't get sick. So that's that. However, again, we have team members. They may get sick. There's that disease that goes on around. Everybody freaks out about it. I'm not going to name it. And they're going to call no call, no show. Their family's in town. All the things that are going to happen, you are going to have surprises. You and I need to be aware of it and plan for it. You've got to plan for a buffer. So for example, going into Halloween, we're going to say, hey, this is a blackout day. Nobody can request that day off. We get super busy in the pizza world with Halloween. Fantastic. Nobody wants to cook. They're busy with the costume and the candy, but we're here to serve. I'm going to have some team members that cannot come. I've got to plan for that ahead of time. We've got to prep differently. We've got to shift the way we do our stuff a little bit differently. So that day is not that hard for everybody. You have to have some team members on call. So for example, on Christmas Eve, I can tell team members, listen, I know you're not available and I'm going to only call you if we are dying here. So if I really, really need help, are you willing to come out and help for just a couple of hours? Can I have you to be on call? That's it. All you want to do is get a couple of people that are on call. If things are crashing and burning, you really need a driver for a couple of hours to help you with deliveries, or you need somebody to, you need a server who couldn't come because they got sick and what have you. You have people on call. That goes back into having that buffer. So that's the last tip I have for you. I hope you are getting ready for the holiday season. We are going to have some staffing challenges. This is life on planet Earth. This is what it's like to be in the restaurant business, and we are here for it, having these fun conversations. I would love to hear from you. Comment below if you're watching on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and like this episode if you're finding it at all useful. Uh, it means the world to me. If you're on the podcast zone, please leave us a review. I try to make time out of our busy day. I got four young kids. Try to post the podcasts and videos for you to serve you. So it would mean a lot if you would leave me a review on the podcast zone. And with that, let's get back to work.
and make some dough. Thank you. Bye.